Hi, I'm Karen Curry Parker. Welcome to Understanding Human Design Podcast. I'm here today with quantum human design specialist, Alana Heim. She's also a quantum alignment system practitioner. She's one of the co-authors of the book, Abundance by Design, among many other books. And I want to just, you know, usually we have these conversations, we talk back and forth. I have the privilege of really showing you different quantum human design specialists, quantum alignment system practitioners. We have amazing conversations, but today, Alana, I want you to teach us and transmit to us in the way that you do. So I'm, I'm excited to have you here. Welcome. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here as well. Okay. So I have had, I have to unpack the story because it's such a great story. I have had the privilege of knowing you through a lot of very interesting transitions in your life and your emergence as a spiritual teacher or spiritual catalyst. And when I first met you, you were sort of freshly escaped from your cubicle as a a CPA and kind of just starting to walk a little bit between these worlds and maybe a little bit out of this world. And you came and spoke this year at our uh, International Human Design Conference and shared with us not only an incredible voice transmission that was a channeled, a channeled energy, I think is maybe the best way to put it, that just blew the room away, just utterly blew the room away. And, you know, you also shared with us some really important information about the evolution of the world. So tell us a little bit about what you shared with us, if you don't mind. Yes. So background, being a CPA, being in that world for 20 years, totally fit the mold, fit myself into a box until I realized it was draining and depleting me. And being a projector, that's one of the things that's so important. It's time for us to really sustain ourselves. And I had to leave it all behind. Mm -hmm. So I did, left it all behind. It was one of those decisions usually projectors struggle with because what are we going to do and how are we going to support ourselves and all of those pieces. And it was my projector husband who actually said, just go, just leave it behind. And the universe has totally had my back and has supported me along the way of realizing I left that industry not only because it didn't align with who I am, but it doesn't align with the future I see for the world. Mm -hmm. And that's the biggest piece is we have so much individuality coming forth on the planet for every single human to change the trajectory of where we've been, where we're going. And it starts from within resonating with your cells on that vibrational sound level of uh, being who you are. And so more and more, I've jumped into the healing arts, Mm -hmm. which again, being a CPA, you don't see very often. (laughs) And now sound channeling is coming forth. And really what I'm finding is light and sound are the same vibration and frequency of energy. And it's this translation that's coming forth and it ripples across all time and space right? There's no end to it. It's infinite. And that is such the reflection of the potential that's within all of us that is ready to come forth at this time. Mm -hmm. We don't even know what it looks like. Because if you had asked me five years ago, would I be doing, you know, this work? I didn't know what this work looked like. I knew it included human design. I knew it was of that level of being more revolutionary and evolutionary. But to really start breaking down the systems that's that's ultimately what I'm holding space for so that we all can become more sustainable and equitable in this new future that we're building. I, I love that. And so uh, so I have to just share that before we sort of started recording, you're kind of rubbing your hands gleefully like it all needs to fall down. And then I just and, and he said, I'm really looking forward to it. And I, I I'd love to hear a little bit more about why you're looking forward to the downfall of systems and institutions that seem to not be working anymore? The more that we really look at the design, so let's just say the collective circuitry, Mm -hmm. it's one size fits all. It's shove everybody into the box, even if the box isn't big enough. Mm -hmm. And this individual circuitry that's coming forth, this true knowingness on a deep level, connecting ourselves to source, God, love, light, all of these powerful energies, 
they've always been there. It's just, it's time to ignite it, which means these systems aren't going to work for all of us. And even education wise, right? We were taught so young to stop dreaming, Mm -hmm. to hold the vision. And as we're recording, the sun's in the gate 14. So this energy of prosperity, it starts with that dream of really seeing where it is we want to go and being in flow, allowing source to bring it forth, this creative way of doing through our beingness Mm -hmm. that actually got shut down. And so when I see even the, the stock market, the retirement system, I've realized that works for people who don't love what they do, right? Like they're looking for the exit. They don't want to do that work. But even being a projector who's not supposed to work all the time, I love helping my clients. I love working in this way where I'm helping them clear old wounds and patterns and thoughts and behaviors and things that are keeping them from having the prosperity that's already inside of them. And when I look at the retirement system, it doesn't work. And it's really a scarcity-based hoarding mm-hmm. system, right? Mm-hmm. There's there's no flow of giving and receiving and doing the dance. Most of the time, you don't even know what you're invested in. And then it doesn't align with really what you would want to put your money in. So you're not creating that value that's so important in the world. Mm-hmm. So you shared with me that, and, and you've been talking about this a little bit, that the way in which you transmit your wisdom and your knowledge has been changing. You started off teaching and doing sessions, and now you say you're you're doing more of your healing arts. Tell us a little bit about what that looks like for you right now. There's something pretty magical about the chart. So just seeing it, information comes forth, right? You know, it's just, it like speaks to you. And when I compare that to actually moving into the quantum field, and now working on clearing chakras or helping move the energy where it might be blocked, say, in your organs, or if there's certain things that, um, you know, I might focus on a theme like individuality, I'm really going to be focusing on those lower chakras because if our root is blocked, we're not feeling safe Mm -hmm. to be who we are. And then we're not going to feel safe to be in those right relationships and to start to manifest them. And even in our third chakra, that power of who you are, the I am, you're not going to feel comfortable, safe, secure, um, creative enough to be in that space to honor who you are. When I do remote energy sessions, I do them either privately for a client or I've been doing group sessions Mm -hmm. on a donation base. So that way people can jump in. They can have the energy moved and cleared. And there's just something about being in that space of trusting and allowing, surrendering to source and knowing, being guided to support in certain areas areas of the body. Places my clients don't even tell me they have issues, but then later say, oh, my knee feels better. Or, you know, (laughs) suddenly I can talk or my lungs aren't so blocked and clogged because they did get the virus or something that's going on that's just still in their energy field. Mm -hmm. Source is always tapping out here to warn us that something's out of alignment. And when I can help them notice that before it gets to the physical body and becomes more chronic, Um, that's where we can really clear whatever it is that's in their way to receiving the prosperity that they're seeking. I love that. And, and just to be clear, this isn't like you sitting there going, oh, I'm sensing a block in your lungs. You're like doing this with sound, right? So, I mean, this was the thing that, that was so mind blowing that you, uh, you know, you did at conferences, you stood up there and you gave us all this powerful information about individuality and transits in the chart. And then you said, oh, and by the way, we're going to do this thing. We're going to clear this right now. <laughs> and you just just made this unbelievable angelic sound that, as I said, just totally knocked the room flat. People, there was in the dry eye in the room. Everybody was just breathing and just so moved by the frequency that you transmitted. And you shared with me that you actually did this at your B&I group the other day where you were talking to bankers and mortgage officers. And so tell me about that. I had, I had seven minutes to present. So I had slides and I scrapped them. So it's this knowing that comes in the moment. Mm-hmm. And 
even at conference, in the moment, what's going to come forth? That's creativity at its finest. You can't plan it. You cannot structure it. So I knew that source kept saying, you need to channel for your group. And in seven minutes, right, there's only so much I could do. I gave everyone dollar bills and we did a money exercise for them to recognize what was hard and what was blocking them, what was stuck. And I wanted them to release that. And then I channeled energy to help clear that. And then we connected with the money again and we wanted to set the new intention. Did they want more grace, more ease, flow, right? More money, whatever it is, physical, emotional, spiritual, what is that? And then I infuse that with bringing forth whatever sound came through. And I couldn't tell you because I'm not me, really. It's just the energy <laughs> moving through me. I'm that conduit. And at the end, I had such calm and ease. And it, I, I really knew what it felt like to stand in your power, to mm. just be free of any judgment not caring what others thought, not caring if they were going to think it was weird or I was being different. It was such a, a revolutionary place to really feel that energy of, wow, this is when you are in your purpose and you are doing what you're meant to do and being who you're meant to be, you're fully supported, right? The universe, God has your back again and everybody received whatever they meant they were meant to receive. I don't know what that was. Um but it, but it just felt really good. Yeah, I bet it was very powerful because I, I know what you do. <laughs> so Awesome. So if you want to learn more about Alana's work, Alana, you do remote energy sessions. You do themed group sessions. You work with people individually. Is there any other kind of service or product that you have to offer or that you want to share with us? I do human design readings and I do human design consulting sessions. Mm -hmm. So I say consulting because if you want to go into financial prosperity type of strategy, we can go there. If you want to dive deeper into intuition and actually doing some of the quantum alignment system, tapping, EFT, um, me channeling or doing whatever is necessary in that session, then it's one of those free reign, let's just play in the space and see what comes forth to heal you and support you as you need it. Beautiful. That sounds amazing. So you can learn more about Alana's work uh, and, and connect with Alana and book a session with her uh, on her website, prosperityalignment.com. And uh, anything else you want to add in closing, Alana? The time is now mm. to honor you, honor, mm. honor the you that's always been there, right? And if you even take a journey down memory lane, you might start to see where some of these parts of you have always been there. Mm -hmm. And some of me playing with sound was there. And it's one of those things that I've, I've just sang or played with music but five minutes later, I would not know what tune I was singing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, 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 wasn't, it wasn't me, right? And so notice where you really get energized and you're excited. And somewhere along the way, someone came and like squashed you like a bug and said, you can't do it. I'm giving you permission. Source is giving you permission. All the planets, it's time now to, to go back and explore and play with that. I love that. I love that. That's that just feels so aligned and beautiful. Thank you, Alana, so much for joining us today. I am um, again go check out Alana's work. It's prosperityalignment.com and connect with Alana, join her community, and uh keep mutating all of us. <laughs> we we have systems to disrupt and uh we have uh, important work to be doing once we get everything out of the way to go back to uh, go back to and also expand upon who we were going to be. So thank you, Elena, for being here. Bye, Elena. Thank you.